Hello folks. So today I'm going to show you how to find an ISS International Space Station transit near you and it's it's super simple. Um, I like to use this website called Transit Finder and um, there's another website it's called um, uh, CalSky. I think it stands for or Cal Sky, Calendar Sky. It's a bit more complicated so um, I don't use that one. I like this other one called Transit Finder. And it's called uh, just transit-finder.com, and um, it's proven to be um, very accurate. And um, the reason I'm bringing this up is that there's going to be a solar transit near me. And if you ever want to capture a transit, it doesn't have to be solar if you don't have any solar equipment. Um, just about anyone can capture the moon. And it shows both lunar and solar transits. So let me do this auto-detect. That works. It's very accurate. And I'll just leave the defaults for the dates. I'll leave that uh, 80 kilometers. And I'll just say calculate. And here's all the transmit, all the transits near me in the near future. Uh, you can see this first one is of the moon on 1022. But you can see it's, it's not going through the moon uh, at my location. I'd have to travel somewhere. But on the same day, uh, this is next Tuesday, um, there's a solar transit. It's in red because I don't even have to leave my house for this one, and it's almost near the, the center of the sun. And if I just say show on map, um, there it is. And I'm very close to it. So anybody in this red area will be able to see the transit. And the closer you are to the middle, that means the, the transit will be right down the middle of the sun. So I'm very close to the center. I love it if I don't even have to leave my house because I don't like taking my equipment elsewhere. So um, next Tuesday I check the weather and the weather says uh, um, it, it, it might be mostly cloudy. I hope it's not. In fact, um, uh, what did it say as the, in terms of the time? If it's clear, I'll even do a, a live stream. Won't that be exciting? <laughs> but it's, it's a lot of fun to capture the transit. Uh, let's see, 308. The time is adjusted for your local time. So if it's cloudy, I'll, I'll go ahead and live stream it. That might be fun. And what I notice is that the transit usually appears, um, it, it appears close enough that I can capture it from my own backyard. Usually uh, maybe once or twice a year that seems to happen. And this is last. This is what I captured last year. I made an animation on Astrobin, so that was kind of cool to see it going by. Uh, this was with my quark, but next time I'm going to use my solar scout because I want the whole disk of the sun. So the space shapes, the the ISS will be um, smaller, but I want to see it go across the the whole disk of the sun. And it was actually a lunar transit. I think it was last week. A lot of people actually met in the park to capture it. Um, my friend Jason was there, and he told me I should come along, but I skipped it. And uh, Jason says I'm the most anti-social social media person he's ever seen. I don't even go to the astro meetings these guys have every month. I'm bad. I know I'm terrible at this. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that website. It's super simple to use, and... Uh, if you ever want to capture it, uh, give this uh, website a shot. Even if you don't have solar equipment, anybody can do the moon. So that's all I got, folks. I'll see you later. Hello, folks. So, hello, folks. So today I just thought I'd show you how to find an ISIS. Oh, geez, not ISIS. <laughs> hello, folks. So today, I'm going to show you how to find an ISIS. Why do I keep saying ISIS? I can't. Hello, folks. So today, I'm going to show you how to find an ISS International Space Station transit. Hello, folks. So today, I'm going to show you how to find an ISS solar... Hello folks, so today I'm going to show you how to find an ISS International Space Station Transit. I'm not going to say that smoothly, am I? Hello folks. <laughs>